Only on two, we're hearing from that father and son duo about the crash and the aftermath that has rattled that neighborhood. Four children are recovering from their injuries tonight. All of them were inside one SUV. The woman behind the wheel was killed. Brandon Walker's live in North Harris County tonight, and Brandon investigators think the woman may have run a stop sign, but neighbors are telling you it's known as a dangerous intersection. Right, Lauren, they say she didn't run the stop sign. Rather, they say that she's got to inch her way. Everyone's got to inch their way through the intersection here because of an obstructed view. They're calling for a traffic light to be installed here, and they say that they've complained about this, neighbors and the HOA, for years now. 17-year-old Jason Contreras last night became a first responder. Here, Jason's mother speaks to him across the street from the median turned crash scene where a mother of three lost her life. That's Edwin Contreras, Jason's dad. He says the family heard the crash, ran outside, he and Jason, and when they did, they say Angelina Billups was still breathing. Edwin and Jason say Billups had four children with her. They performed CPR on a boy who was unresponsive. Billups behind the wheel of this SUV, which crashed into a Cadillac traveling along T.C. Jester, where it meets Swords Creek after for nine last night. Two 18-year-old men were in the Cadillac. The driver was hospitalized, according to the Harris County Sheriff's Office, which suspects Billups ran the stop sign. I didn't even have a minute of sleep because I was thinking that could have been any of us. Neighbors don't think Billups did so. Rather, they say the view here is obstructed by a neighbor's fence. Neighbors also complain of speeding along T.C. Jester. We need a red light. Sharon Taylor is secretary of Heritage Village's HOA board. She says she's called the county about installing that traffic light for the past two years. Did so again today. Also, seems the HOA may have a right-of-way battle on its hands involving that fence, the homeowner, and the blocked view. Well, by it being out like that, you kind of have to inch your car out. You know, so you could see what's coming around that curve. But we need red light. A live look now at the entrance to the Heritage Village subdivision. You can see another car making its way here along T.C. Jester. Neighbors saying that complaint has lasted for a couple years. We did speak to the family of Miss Billups, and they tell me that uh, those four children, three of them were hers, one her nephew, that's a five-year-old, along with uh, her five-year-old son. Those two boys, we are told, are on life support tonight. The oldest child, a four-year-old girl, we are told she's going to be okay. The youngest, about two years old, broke a leg and his ribs without his mother tonight. Live in North Harris County, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.